This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Step Ed Educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension, and today we'll be talking about zucchini. The mind plate suggests two vary your vegetables. Luckily, there are dozens to choose from, and they come in many forms fresh, frozen, canned, whole, or cut up. But with all this variety, it can be hard to keep track of how to store and use each one. So, in today's video, we'll be highlighting one of my favorites zucchini. From the store, to your kitchen, to your plate, you'll learn about how to get the most out of your zucchini and save some money along the way. Based on their nutrient content, vegetables are organized into five subgroups. And despite being green on the outside, zucchini does not fall under the dark green vegetable group. It actually belongs in the other vegetable subgroup along with other types of summer squash. As with most vegetables, zucchini contains fiber, which can help reduce blood cholesterol levels and may lower the risk of heart disease. To get all the fiber from your zucchini, be sure to leave the skins on. Luckily, when it comes to this vegetable, whether raw or cooked, you can eat all the parts, skin, seeds, and flesh. Along with adding nutrients, leaving the skin intact will also add color to your dish. As I mentioned before, zucchini is a type of summer squash, so you'll find it in season and the cheapest around July to September. But most supermarkets will still have it in stock all year round. Maybe you've seen them in the form of zucchini noodles. While this is a great way to make half of your plate fruits and vegetables, convenience usually costs more. So anytime fresh produce is processed or cut in advance, it's likely to have a higher price tag. At your grocery store or farmer's market, choose firm, slender zucchini with a bright green color. The skin should be free of wrinkles and soft spots. Try to select small to medium-sized squash around 4 to 10 inches. As zucchini gets longer and bigger around, it becomes tougher and develops more seeds. But don't count them out just yet. These larger zucchinis are still great shredded and used in zucchini bread. At home, I like to refrigerate my fresh zucchini in an open or perforated plastic bag for up to a week. Be sure it's dry and unwashed when you put it in the bag since moisture will encourage mold and spoilage. Cooked zucchini can be stored in the fridge and should be used within two to five days. Before preparing, wash your hands with warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds. Then rinse the zucchini under cool running water. This type of summer squash has a tender skin, so I wouldn't really recommend using a vegetable brush to clean it. Instead, you can use your fingers to remove excess dirt and then dry with a clean paper towel. Once you get it onto your cutting board, you can cut zucchini in many ways depending on your preference and the recipe. To start, cut off the ends of your zucchini. Then you can slice them crosswise into coins. With this method, be sure to grip your zucchini so it's stable and doesn't roll around as you cut it. Or you can use a mandolin to get uniform slices. This type of cut really makes me think of the old time classic ratatouille. With this, you can use up all your late summer vegetables like summer squash, eggplant, and tomatoes. Vegetable dishes like this are packed with nutrients while still being low in calories. But my favorite part is how the colors from each vegetable really livens up the dish and it makes it look a lot tastier. You can also cut them lengthwise into long, thin strips. Again, this can be done with your knife or a mandolin. Thicker cuts can be cooked on a grill and seasoned with your favorite mix of spices, herbs, and even a spritz of lemon. Thinner cuts can be added to lasagna. Just be sure to pack the slices dry with a paper towel before you layer them into your dish. Letting the lasagna set overnight in the fridge before you cook it can also help it keep its shape once it's cooked and cut. You can also get creative with your baked goods by adding shredded zucchini. Like I mentioned earlier, large zucchinis are great for this. Growing up, my mom would shred the zucchini a bit smaller than shown in the video and add it to bread. Then we'd add crushed walnuts to give it a good crunch and some protein. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw this, I thought it was kind of weird. But when you think about it, vegetables like carrots can also be turned into delicious baked goods. Finally, just in case you did grab that bag of zucchini noodles at the store, here are some ideas of what to make. It's a great addition to bulk up the nutrient content of regular pasta or a good alternative for those who can't have gluten. Cook them with a tomato or pesto sauce and vary your vegetables by adding bell peppers or spinach. Then maybe top it off with some cheese and a protein for a delicious meal that's balanced with at least three of the five food groups. And there you have it. 
That's zucchini, a fresh summer vegetable you can add to almost any meal. I hope in this video you learned a little bit more on how to buy, store, and prepare zucchini in affordable and tasty ways. If you are looking for more ways on how to incorporate zucchini into your meals, check out snapedny.org or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. There you'll find recipes like zucchini tomato bake, summer squash tuna pasta salad, and so much more. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with SNAP Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.